In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to add some banner ads to your sidebar. So if you look to your right, now every theme will look different. It may be displayed in different areas or different ways, but it's pretty much the same. This is where we're gonna add it. This is actually referred to your widgets in your dashboard. So let's go ahead and let's go back in and we are gonna go directly to our widgets. Now you can also access this from directly from your dashboard by going to appearance and then clicking on widgets. Or like I said, you could do it from the top when you are on your actual site itself if you're logged in. So we're gonna look now in this specific theme, my sidebar is literally referred to as my sidebar. I have additional things in here because I have a plugin installed, but let's just focus right here. So to go ahead and add a banner ad, you are going to scroll down and you are going to click on text. It will pull up a drop down. Right now it has selected that it's adding this to my sidebar. So click on add widget. And you will see it pop over here into your widget section for this sidebar specifically. So you can add a title if you want. Normally if I'm adding a banner ad, it's very rare for me to actually post a title there. So we're gonna look specifically at content. Now you can actually just directly type into here and you can add it and it will pull whatever you have typed on into the sidebar and it'll just look like general text. But we are going to use some HTML codes that you will most likely get. If you are in an MLM marketing company, they will usually have banner ads that you can add to your blogs. We're gonna do a couple different ones. I have a Beachbody one that I'm going to walk you through. I have a lot of Beachbody coaches that have me train them on WordPress. So if you go in and you log into your Team Beachbody site, you will go up and you'll go to your coach online office. Now, if you look to the top, I access this via my sales and marketing and I clicked on web tools and it takes me directly to the page I'm on right now. So if you look, there's a ton of different stuff you can do to go ahead and promote your Beachbody business, but we are specifically looking at web tools. Now they have different social media skins you can add. They have desktop backgrounds. They have general images that you can actually download and put into your site if you want to add those to your blog but we are focusing right now on the banner ads. So let's go ahead and let's look at one. Court of Force is pretty popular right now since it was recently released. So let's click onto this and we will see what they have in options for Court of Force. Now they have different sizing, 125 by 125. Sometimes this size, depending upon the size of your actual sidebar, the width of it, you can stack these next to each other. But you know, I, I do like the bigger ads for some reason in my mind. I really like them. Occasionally I will. I'll have a big ad and then I'll have maybe two small ads stack under or above it. That does require additional coding to stack them next to each other. And this tutorial I'm trying to keep as simple as possible. So let's just kind of look through what they have. They have the, these kind, you know, more of your leaderboard style. They have the long side one. Let's do, this is a common size. Let's do one of these. So if you look here, here's what the ad looks like. Here's the dimensions, 300 by 250. And you will see something that kind of looks like jargon below it. This is actually your coding. This is your HTML coding. So if you just click on this, you could do a copy and paste. Like I said, I always do control C. You could do a right click, whatever you desire. We're gonna copy this. And don't worry about this. It actually has your referring ID in it. It has everything you need. So we're going to go back to my widgets. And we are literally going to directly paste this straight in there. So let's click Save. Now let's go back to our site. I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like. If you scroll down, you will now see it here and it is a clickable link because the banner ad was written to be clickable. 
So if they click on this, it will take you directly to the Team Beachbody site and your referring ID is attached to that up here within this coding. So there you have it. It's pretty easy to add these banner ads. We can go back and look and see if they have additional ones that you like. Let's say you want to add a Shakeology one. So just go ahead and go back. Scroll down and look at Shakeology right there. You can do any sizing, like I said. These ones will go in a, a different place and I can show you how to do that down the road in another tutorial through a plugin I use, but for today we're just gonna focus on the sidebar. Let's say you want to do a more length, length one like this. So go ahead and copy this. Go back to your widgets. You can close this. You can obviously drag these in whichever order, up and down, however you want them displayed. Like you could put, put those between that. Let's go grab another text widget. There it shows the sidebar. Click Add Widget. Scroll down and you're just going to paste that code again into the content section and click Save. Okay. Now let's go and view our site again. Where's my site? I think I might have closed it out. We'll go up here and do it. So now you look, since I drug this upward, I put it into place between recent posts and recent comments. And if you scroll down, lo and behold, you will see this here. Now you can obviously add some coding to this to center it if you desire. That does take a little bit more. It's pretty simple. Sometimes I suggest if you're just getting started with WordPress not to fool or mess with coding, but I'll go ahead and show you right now how easy this specific code is. So if you look at the very beginning of this HTML code right here, you're gonna put the little less than sign, you're gonna type center, and then the greater sign. Then if you go to the end, you're gonna do the lesser sign. Then you're gonna put a backslash and type center, and then the greater sign, and click save. So remember, the beginning of the code that you pulled, pulled over and the end is where these are gonna set. If you go back to the site, this is a very, very simple code to enter. And if you mess it up, obviously you can delete the whole thing and just put the code back in. And lo and behold, it will be centered directly in that sidebar. Okay, I'm gonna show you another one. Like I said, if you're in a different company, a different MLM, if you plan on doing affiliate marketing, they usually will have banner ads available for you to pull. So how you log into it with your actual company that you're with will be a little different, obviously. It won't be the same way of logging in, but just find out from the company that you're with or that you're working with where to locate those banner ads, and then you could go ahead and do the same exact thing. The coding will be very similar. It will usually have a referring ID in it, so you will get credit for the commission sell. So we're gonna do another one. If you're doing affiliate marketing, this would be something that would be of interest to you. I am a SiteGround affiliate because I just am in love with their hosting. This is who I personally use for all my sites. And so I'm logged into my affiliate account and I have gone under their general banner ads. They have different sizing, different options. They have different web hosting. I can kind of look through these. I'm going to do the same exact thing. It's as simple as clicking on get code. And here it pulls up. See, it kind of looks the same. Obviously different company, different referring IDs, different URLs, but it looks very much the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the code. Then I'm gonna do a copy and paste. We're gonna go back to my widgets. 
I'm going to add another text to my sidebar. I'm going to click on Add Widget. I'm going to paste it directly in here. If I want to center it again, you go ahead and add this code to it. You'll add the center at the beginning and you will add this version of it at the end. And go ahead and click on Save. Now let's go view this banner ad. If you scroll down, lo and behold, there's my banner ad. If they click on it, it will pull up my referring ID and so forth. Sometimes the URL address at the top will change, but don't worry about that because once it's already been loaded in, your link and everything is tied within that actual code. So you are good to go. But see, when people come through this banner ad, if they go ahead and purchase hosting, through my link, I will get a commission for these sales. So if you want to create your own banner ads through something like Canva or PicMonkey or whatever the case is, whatever design software you decide to go with, you would simply just go into your widgets. If you have Jetpack installed, it will give you the option to add an image with a clickable link. And so you would just simply upload that image and insert the URL that you are wanting to redirect the person to. And it will still appear as if it is a banner ad. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, it's definitely something you want to consider adding into your site. If you're going to blog and you're going to spend all this effort, you might as well monetize it and make a little cash. So, all right, guys, there you have it. Thanks.